Hi my loves, welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. Today I'm here with a dream. In this dream, I was um, with my husband and our children. And it kind of felt like we were at um, like some kind of vacation because we were at this park and it was like a big event going on. But I had the knowing that we were staying at a hotel, like, really close to where we were. And um, while we were at the park, um, at this festival, we kind of have our blanket. And we lay our blanket out. And us and all of our kids are sitting on a blanket. And um, we're getting comfortable as the festival ends, it kind of doesn't end when it's supposed to. Something happens. Um, I think um, either like a argument or something um, breaks out at this festival. And because the argument breaks out at the festival, we have to hurry up and rush to leave. So as we were leaving, <laughs> um, my husband, like, it's like we had a lot of kids with us. And we had... Um, all the way from teenagers up and down until infant babies. And we had three infants and like um, four teenagers. And um, the rest were kind of like in between those ages. Okay, so all the children that could get up and walk and run got up with my husband and took off. And I'm sitting there like, wait, <laughs> how am I supposed to carry three so I have two babies in my, um, one baby here, one baby here. And I'm looking at the ba third baby and the third baby is looking at me like, bro, you better not leave me. And at the same time, like, go like, how are you going to carry me? And you better not leave me. So, um, I'm thinking to myself, okay, how I'm going to carry this baby too. And I figure it out. Like I try to, you know, maneuver it and get it together to where I have all three babies and we take off. Okay. And, um, yeah, that's the dream. So, <laughs> the scripture comes from Isaiah 29 and 16. You turn things upside down as if the potter were thought to be like the clay. Shall what is formed say to the one who formed it, you did not make me. Can the pot say to the potter, you know nothing? In a very short time, will not Lebanon be turned into a fertile field, and the fertile field seem like a forest? In that day, the deaf will hear the words of the scroll, and out of gloom and darkness, the eyes of the blind will see. Once more, the humble will rejoice in the Lord, the needy will rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. The ruthless will vanish, the mockers will disappear, and all who have an eye for evil will be cut down. Those who with a sword make someone out to be guilty, who ensnare the defender in court, and with false testimony deprive the innocent of justice. Okay, so as I was reading the scripture, God is speaking to me about this dream, like the children are um, our representation of um, like accomplishments and goals. Okay. So it's kind of like, um, like maybe you and your spouse have businesses, like y'all have businesses that y'all have to handle. Um, there may be several businesses that each of you are, um, over like, let's say like your person has five businesses and you have five businesses. So it's kind of like, just like he, walked off with the teenagers and I kept the younger children near me. It's kind of like you both have, it's together, but it's separate. But I feel like, so with the teenage children, this is something that someone may have been working on for a long time. And um, with the infant, this is like something new, something brand new. And everything um also doesn't have to be a business. It could be like, um, a new vehicle or it could be like a house or it's something that you have been working really hard for and toward it's something that you have wanted for a long time it's something that um it's something that god has put it up on your heart to want and something that god has put it up 
um, it's already meant for you to receive this. So it's like, I feel, um, the teenagers represent something that has already been started, something that has already been, um, gained um because you know when we give birth when we have dreams about being pregnant that means that we're working to create something we're working to bring something forth to manifest something um per se okay if like that's the word that i could think would make sense like it's like it's it's cooking it's like um you planted the seed and you're waiting on the sprout to grow that's like um yeah, when you're pregnant, once you give birth, that means that this thing is here. It's here. It has arrived and you have it now and you're no longer training for it. You're no longer wishing for it. You're no longer hoping for it. You have it, but it's still small. It's still new, but you have it. It's yours. So a child to a teenager represents you having something that you worked really hard for. You gave birth to it. It came into fruition. Um, you've been having it for a while and you've been working really hard on it for a while. And it may be a situation where you and your spouse have been both working on yourselves for a while. You've been um, putting a lot of effort and energy to into whatever careers you have, whatever businesses, whatever things that you have going on. And y'all also have these new things. And I want to add that he was able to quickly get up and walk off with the things that we had for a while. So um, I feel like that is saying that in times of danger or in times when someone is trying to take something or someone is trying to snatch something away, um, when it comes to things that you have been working on for a long time, it's harder for them to take that. You know, it's harder for somebody to take something that has been, um, it's been like, like you have been working on it for so long that you're just used to it. Um, it's kind of like, and when you have something new, when you just started something or when you're thinking about something and you're trying to manifest something, um, and it hasn't come into fruition, it's easy for someone to come and um try to take it away and it doesn't mean take it away as in steal it but also take it away as in tell you things that will keep you from getting it like let's say if you're thinking about creating a business okay so if you're thinking about creating a business you have an idea of what you want and um your business plan you know what kind of business you want to have you thought of the name and you thought of this you that would be in the phase of being pregnant and if you tell someone your idea and they tell you oh no i don't think that's a good idea oh no i don't think that's gonna work out oh no i don't think you're gonna be able to really make any money for that that's like um that would be like when i first started as a makeup artist and i first started my cosmetic line and i first started my business if someone would have um if i would have listened per se instead of if someone would have if i would have listened to someone coming to me and saying yo i don't think that's a good idea i don't think you're gonna make no money i don't think nobody really gonna buy that stuff i don't think nobody really want nothing like that and it's just the, the, the fact that you're gonna hear no so much you're gonna hear i don't like that so much like i don't even feel like i'm at a level of perfection with my makeup i think i'm still okay but you know at the same time when i started I wasn't really, I'm not going to act like I really knew what I was doing 100%. I did it. There were some things I did not understand. I had to take several classes. It took a lot of practice. And had I listened to people that told me that I couldn't do it when I first started, I would have never um, gotten to this point. And I'm just saying that to say like, you know, um, At the stage of the babies, like the infant babies in the dream, that is where I had a difficulty carrying everything. So this is for somebody, you are starting something new. This is something new, and this is something that you are having to juggle it. You have to juggle it all at the same time, and you're trying really hard. You got three infants in your hands, and you're trying to hold all three of them at the same time. You're trying to um, make sure they're all safe. You're trying to make sure everything is good. And um, 
in this dream, as I was reaching out for the third baby, there was someone um, kind of next to me that was kind of like trying to see if I could carry it. So you may feel as though there are people watching you, looking onto you like, oh, you're not going to be able to deal with all that. Oh, that's going to be too much. Maybe it's a situation where someone thinks that it will be too much for you to be able to handle um, owning your own businesses, um, working and maintaining a marriage and having children and everything else that you want to do and also having a life outside of that, you know, and um, carrying on with your own self-care. And I just feel like um, with the scripture, God is saying, You do not know what God knows, and they do not know what God knows. Nobody can tell you what you can or cannot handle. And, you know, um, everything that God pushes your way is something that you are meant to have. It's something that is meant to be. You put a lot of work into all of these things. Everything that you are receiving, you've put a lot of work into it. Like you put a lot of work into your businesses. You put a lot of work into your friendships, your relationships. You put a lot of work into getting a house. You put a lot of work into getting a car. You put a lot of work and effort into your marriage, your relationship. You put a lot of work and effort into everything that you receive every time that you pass over um a level of, or of accomplishment it's like you have put a lot of work into it and it is not fair for um anyone to make you feel like you're not ready for something else when in reality um, everything that you're doing is getting you ready for the next level. Everything that you do gets you ready for the next step. And I just feel like um, God is saying, don't allow anybody to um, come in while you're at the infant level and tell you, Oh, it don't look like you can hold that. You you can't handle all that. You can't you can't handle all that. And I don't think that's meant for you. I don't think you're gonna be able to carry that baby. You need to put the baby down. Whatever it is that God has blessed you with, that you've been manifesting, you've been praying for, you've been praying, you've been praying, you've been praying, you've been working hard to receive it. You've been working hard to um and that's what I mean by manifest. You've been praying for this. You've been working for this. You have been putting forth a lot of effort for this to come in your life. This is something that you have dreamed about. This is something that you have always wanted. You always wanted this. And now that you have it, there is somebody or there are people that are looking at you while you are struggling to keep it afloat. It's hard. It's heavy. You got you only got two arms, but you have three babies and the teenagers are OK. You are able you're maintaining the teenagers. You're maintaining the um the preteens and the little kids. They they OK. OK, the toddlers, you they are right, too. But it's the babies that you're having a hard time with because they're in an infant state. It's a new state and you have to really pay a lot of attention to it. And um, God is saying that what he has given to you, he gave it to you because you are at a point where you can handle it. So don't allow anybody to tell you that you can't handle it. You can handle it. You just have to slow down, take a deep breath and Think about, okay, how am I going to do this? Plan it out and, you know, just be like, okay, okay. And, and be like, I got it. But, you know, it's just like, I feel like, you know, like the babies are just a representation of it's something new. But just like if you have an infant baby, just because you may be, um, you may have another baby along with it doesn't mean that you're going to take one and you're going to give it away or you're not going to care for it the way that you're supposed to. And I feel like God is saying just how you would never want to leave your child in a park or in some kind of at some kind of festival while everything is going in this array. You will stand there and you will defend it and you will be like, no, this is my baby and I'm going to figure out a way to pick my baby up and take my baby with me because my baby coming with me. OK. That's how you need to be when it comes to these blessings that God has been preparing for you. These blessings that you've been praying to God for. These blessings that you have been just um, 
I feel like anxious. I hear someone has been anxiously waiting for this and God is about to give this to you. Don't allow yourself to be tricked into believing that you are not ready for what God has for you, regardless if it is a, a husband, a wife, a spouse, or if it's a house, um, or if it's a car, or if it's like, um, like you're going to start receiving more money. Maybe you're going to get a raise. Maybe you're going to whatever it is. Maybe your business is going to take off the way you want it to. Maybe you are finally going to get things going. You're going to make things official with something. But God is saying, don't allow anyone to make you believe that you can't handle it. You can't handle it. You just need to think about it. Okay. God says that you will be turned into a fertile field. Fertile field, you know, when somebody is fertile, that means that they can get pregnant easy. And it's just like um, a fertile field is a field where you put the seeds in there and everything is going to flourish. Everything is going to grow. God is saying that um, every seed that you have been planting, it is going to come into fruition. So that's like everything that you have been praying for. Like th that's what all of these children represent. Like somebody is about to be blessed tremendously. Like you finna be so blessed. It's not like the energy that I feel is coming and it may not look like it right now, but it's coming. And you have things that you have already been working on that are going to grow to such an extent that you will be able to handle it like easily, like having a teenager. And it's not to say that having a teenager is easy. It's still going to be problems. And there are still going to be situations that you may have to handle pertaining to those businesses. But I feel like God is saying that it's not going to be as stressful as it was at the beginning. And now that you have um, grew in a level with that and you grew in a level with other things, God is ready to bless you with more. And God is just saying, don't get nervous. Don't get scared and feel like, like receive what you have been asking for and then be like, oh, I don't think I can handle this. God is saying, don't you do it. You've been crying about it. You've been praying about it. You've been begging for it. And God is going to give it to you. And you better figure out a way to handle it. And you better not drop it off and give it away. None of that. God said, this is yours. And you have been asking and asking and asking and asking. And now it's going to be given to you. And regardless if um, whatever it is causes you not to be able to, you may have to do things separately with your spouse or you may have to, um, it may have to be a situation where one person handles this and the other person handles that. And it doesn't mean that y'all not going to be together. Cause just like I said, at the beginning of the dream, we were together, um, the whole time and when i was picking the children up i knew i was going to go and be with him but it's kind of like we had to leave separately or we weren't able to leave exactly at the exact time and i just feel like god is saying that sometimes y'all gonna have to handle things separately there are some things that um y'all may have to um like y'all will have to work it out amongst yourselves so you know um if this is for somebody like a couple that may have been trying to have a baby and y'all have been like um, everything that y'all had been going through up until the point of receiving the baby that you have been wanting, like a I'm talking about a, like a real baby. And um, God is saying that y'all had to go through that because y'all have to come together and be able to work it out together without any help because um when it comes to children, sometimes it's not to say that you can't receive advice. You can receive advice, but it is to say that um, you don't want to, you don't want to like, you don't want to overstep boundaries with your person. You don't want one part, you don't want to be at odds, especially when it comes to children, because everybody, um, we are naturally protective of our children. And, you know, um, I just feel like, it was very important for you specifically to learn how to function as a couple and work things out together without exterior help so that when the baby comes, you will be able to work things out without exterior help. And then on top of that, you know, you don't want to be asking, constantly asking for a babysitter, constantly asking for help with this, constantly asking, like God is saying, he wants you to be able to figure things out as a couple right now with the little problems you have right now, before you get something new added to the plate. And then you have to try to figure out everything. So now that you are at a, like, 
I feel like you're at a place of peace. Like it's a place of rest. Like you got it. Now you're all like, okay, now we got, we had a good rhythm. Everything is going good. God says something else is about to come and shake some things up. And it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It's a beautiful thing. But this thing, <laughs> but it has to, um, it had to be that way. It had to, everything that was going on at first, all the stresses, all the problems that were going on at first had to be resolved before this new thing can come because it may bring more problems. But now you will know how to work on those problems better because you were able to work on the problems in the past. Okay. All right. God says you need to be humble. Once more, the humble will rejoice in the Lord. The needy will rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. God is saying that he wanted you to wait on him specifically because um, he wants you to know that it was him that brought you this blessing. He wants you to know that it was him that made this come about. It was not your own, you know, your own, um, your own tactics, your own efforts. Like, you know, um. Like, let's say if you really wanted a baby really bad and you started taking um, medicines, you started taking vitamins, you started trying to see the doctor so the doctor could give you stuff and it just didn't work. God is saying he wanted you to put that stuff down and deal with what he wanted you to deal with, move forward the way he wanted you to move forward and then come to him and receive what you are um, wanting to receive when you're ready. The ruthless will vanish, the mockers will disappear, and all who have an eye for evil will be cut down. Those who with a word make someone out to be guilty, who ensnare the defender in court, and with a false testimony deprive the innocent of justice. So God is saying, if you would have went about in your own way to bring this about, um, whatever it is, if it's a business, if it's a um a car a house if it's a baby whatever it is a marriage like god is saying if you would have went um and did this in your own might in your own you did it your own way you would have realized that you did it wrong something would have went wrong something would not have worked out the way you thought it would and God is saying that you have to understand that the way that he is doing it the way that he is handling it is the way that it needs to be handled um Going against him is like mocking him and he would send his wrath down upon you if you would have did that. But you decided not to do that. You um decided to be patient and to wait on God. And God said he is rewarding you for that. Okay, that's the message. This went so long. I'm sorry, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.